Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Minister Paul. Wait. I hope you heard that. I'm not starting over again. You there, Minister Paul? <laughs> this channel's a little different, man. Sorry. I am a licensed and ordained minister. You know, that and a piece of paper will allow you to marry somebody. But, you know, it's the anointing that, that we need to pour it out on all flesh. Amen. So it's 5.03 p.m. out here, and I'm looking at the brightest blue sky I've ever seen. It's almost like translucent. It's almost like, where did that sky come from? Amen. So now I can view that one of two ways. Did I say the time and all that? This is an um, uh, impromptu, last minute, probably the strangest video we'll ever see on YouTube uh, type thing. It's 5.03 p.m. It's 8.28.2012. This is like the fifth video I've made. And um, the Lord is just pouring out. I don't want to be the weird one that people think I'm weird on YouTube. Um, I'm telling you I've heard from God. That's why I just turned on. I don't really care what the background looks like. I was uh, just relaxing. The 5 o'clock news is coming on. It's all bad news or misinformation. What I want to tell you is the sky is suddenly blue. Now I can take that one of two ways. One, it's abnormal uh, and uh, something weirds going on. Or two, I can say, well, praise God, we finally got a bright blue sky. But what to me what it is is a sign. Well, why all of a sudden is the sky bright blue and different? Well, so I asked the Lord. See, I, 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 every time, this is, let's just, let's just do this decently in order. Anytime I have any question, I, I get a lot of questions. I probably get a hundred questions or prayer requests a day. A hundred. And I'm just a small channel. And I don't have all the answers. But when I come under the anointing, God will answer. You know how he speaks through his word. You know what he confirms his word. He's not going to confirm anything a man says unless it's from from spoken from him. There's a lot of people on my channel. Honestly, I say this in love. You're looking for man to have all the answers. We don't. We can hear from God. And yes, we can pray for you. We do pray with you and for you. That's what ministry is all about. But look, you got to get to the point in 2012. We're in the last quarter of 2012 where you realize you're part of this ministry too. And we need you just as much as you need us. And then there's this. Because as I looked up at the sky. I was like Lord God. What is that? And he said it's a sign. It's a sign of a shift. We have entered into a new season of a shift. First let me. You know when I, I did the video. I know this is strange. When I did the video on. Uh. God opening up the fourth seal. I said, okay, I, I made sure from yesterday and today, this is going to uh, trip you out. Can I say it like that? It's California. It's kind of how we talk. Uh, I prayed all day yesterday and stared at this map. You know, I, I just Googled map of the USA. Would you be amazed to know that if you go check that video, it's a video of a map. Would you be amazed to know that the map God had me staring at all day yesterday and all morning today was, it's called the Christian International Friendship Map or something like that. I was just looking for a map. It turns out it, it, there's a message even in the map that we are to become Christian friends around the world is go look at the link. I haven't changed it or touched it. I don't have time to even answer half the questions, let alone know all the answers. I just know somebody who does. So I, so I know that's from God. So now let's address this fourth seal. I prayed on it all morning. As a licensed and ordained minister of the gospel with the prophetic anointing, I'm held accountable for what I put out here on YouTube. So I went in and prayed in my secret place. And I said, Lord God, I'll release this fourth seal, beginning of sorrows things. It only if you will. Tell me now. Stop me. I, you know, if it's not of you, don't let me say it. He said, Go tell them. Go warn them. And so after I put that word out, um, I went into back to where I go pray. Uh, usually I wash my hands and then I wash my face. And then uh, there's a, 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 a tub right 
<coughs> excuse me, this just got to stop, this coughing in the name of Jesus. There's a ledge right there, and I'll, I'll, I'll just, it's the guest bathroom. It's just quiet back there, you know. So I'll, I'll sit there and I'll pray on the edge of the tub because it's just a ledge and no one ever uses it. We don't really have many guests and families moved out. So I'll just pray there and just humble myself and that's where I pray. We have six sinks in this house. But after I uploaded the fourth uh, thing, I said, Lord, give me a sign. Now watch this. This is just a couple hours ago. That's my sink. You're going to trip out. That, look. If you want, if you need more proof, I just wanted to show you a quick video. I don't want to make a 20-minute video. Let me just share some things. I, I, God told me to warn that the fourth seal was going to be open. He didn't tell me when, and, but he showed me in the scripture of Revelation 6. And then he told me it's the beginning of the sorrows, just the beginning. What we're seeing now is just the beginning of a whole bunch of sorrow. That's all he said. I didn't add or take it away to it. And then afterwards, I said, Lord, give me a sign. And I went in there to wash my hands where I always wash I, after I pray. Before and after I pray, I wash my hands. I don't know. I, don't, I know I'm not under the law. I just do it out of respect for God. To When I come present to him, I'm like, just want to make sure I have clean hands. I've always kind of been like that, you know. So all of these ants started pouring out of the sink. Look, we've lived here seven years. Is it is it abnormal to have ants in your house? No. In this house, is it? Yes. It's tightly sealed. It's brand new. Uh, we have never had a single uh, ant in that sink in seven years. And all of a sudden, they're pouring out. Now, there's there's two sinks behind me. There's another two sinks in the master bedroom. Master bedroom and, <coughs> and there's two sinks. You got to hear me now, man. We got fallen angels flying above my house. These ants came up, and you know what I did? In the name of Jesus, this is true, I rebuked them. I felt like my home was being invaded, and I poured some water on there and stuff, and they got on my hands, and I rebuked them. I said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus to enter in where I kneel down and pray. See, just to the right of it, I turned the camera. It's like a three-minute video. I turned the camera and show where I kneel and pray. These were they were these ants were invading my prayer space. We haven't had an ant inside this house in seven years. And it's a brand new home. This is something new. And God said, Look, you wanted a sign? The sign is the seal is about ready to remove. I want to let you know things are going to begin to come in through holes that the, the world has never seen before. Portals, open doors. That was a sign. God always would give you a sign. If you're walking in faith and, and you, you have a prophetic anointing, he will always give you a sign. I literally got invaded by ants. My goodness, how much longer do we got to go in this before the whole world will just humble themselves and pray and we can come together instead of fighting? 
A demon was in my backyard. Fallen angels are flying over my house. And now ants. Here's the thing. Who's ever rebuked an ant? I knew it was weird. I knew it was something. See, I wasn't thinking in the natural to go grab a can of Raid. I was thinking in the supernatural that this was an invasion of something that didn't belong in my house. And I said, I rebuke you. And you know what? It's been two and a half hours. And not a single ant has came back. God was just showing me a sign. What other signs can I show you? Well, my dad called yesterday and there's there's nothing wrong with him. And he's now reading Revelation. And you know what time he called yesterday? Yeah, he called me. I didn't call him. And he's a rocket scientist. He don't play games. with. He called that exactly 333. You get that? My dad called at 3.33 saying there was nothing wrong with him at his doctor's appointment. He called earlier today, too, during one of my videos. And uh, you know what he wanted to know about? The end times. God is moving. And God, there's a shift. So I have to release this. I, I have to, in obedience to, to, to Ezekiel 33 as a watcher on the wall. And I know I'm getting a lot of heat and a lot of flack. And I'm just persevering through it because... Those that it needs to reach are getting a, a breakthrough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm saying this to the saved and the unsaved. To the saved and the unsaved. In the name of Jesus Christ. Romans 13, 1. It says, let every soul be subject unto higher powers. That's, that's everybody. Everybody in the whole world. Every soul. You need to be subject unto higher powers. Well, what higher powers? For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. And I'm going to close out in 13. I didn't even plan this. In, 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 in Romans 13, 14, is, it says... But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust day, uh, uh, thereof. I'm going to put a link to Romans 13, because there's something coming upon this world. There's supernatural things occurring in, in my house, in my backyard, in the sky, in my ministry, in my spirit. My wife couldn't sleep last night. Today, I'm just like making video after video. My internet's barely running. <coughs> but you know what? So let me just share with you one more thing. And to Because many people will tell you, look, I don't just make random videos. I didn't make a single video yesterday, and today I've made five. I made two. I made a 40-minute video that I didn't even upload. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think that it's meant to be on YouTube. I'll pray about it. And you can pray about it too. But when I saw this sitting here just about 10 minutes ago or 15 minutes, yeah, about 15 minutes ago, it says uh, it, uh, earthquake in Italy, a 4.5. God said, there's your sign. I mean, how many signs do we need to see? And you, I'll put a link to this too. Why is that a sign? Look at zero kilometers deep uh, from there, and then it's an 11, and then it's a 12, and it's a 7, and it's a 24, and it's a 3. It, it's a sign for a lot of reasons. But what's the biggest sign that I, I put? I made an I made a, a earthquake video, and I made a Middle East video, and I was circling Crete. You know, Crete's been getting hit by earthquakes, and I didn't say a thing. I've been waiting for God to show himself. I've been waiting for someone to confirm God's word. And where are you? Did you know Crete is getting hit by earthquakes during this California swarm? Did you know that God had me zoom Google Earth right into Crete? Get your spiritual eyes and ears open. Not everything that you perceive to be in the natural is in the natural. It's in the supernatural. And you can't fight it with natural weapons. You have to fight it with supernatural weapons. Like, 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 uh, just rebuking those ants. When that seal's coming open, all of your natural weapons of warfare, 
to, to combat what's in released in that seal and what I'm seeing in the sky and in the earth it ain't going to work. You're going to have to have the, the power of the Spirit. You're going to be after subjected to the power of God and realize He's a higher authority. Saved or unsaved is irrelevant. It's going to hit both. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. But mark my words, as I put this word out and hit upload and go about my business for the rest of the night, that I don't play games in the ministry. I got to pack up for a flight. I've already made enough videos until God tells me one more. One more. Italy, go watch, go watch. I'll try and find a link to it. I go up to Italy and I say Italy. And I've just been waiting because I know God has never spoken anything to me that hasn't came to pass. So, when I saw that Italy, and you can you can uh, go look at it too, and it was just it's it's a four point five, which is a nine. While I was reading about the nine spiritual gifts, and I saw that uh, zero kilometers, it was like eh, an alarm went off, and then God gave me a scripture, and here's the scripture: Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God, the powers that are ordained by God. And then it talks about if you resist this ordinance and you resist this power, you will receive to themselves. In other words, you receive it. He didn't give it to you. You received it by resisting him. Damnation. I know. It's a call to repentance. I'm going to put this. Uh, so how? Uh, I'm going to put this whole. There's something about this scripture. There's something about this uh, uh um, just listen to my voice. Don't worry about the background. I've had a long day. It's 5.20 p.m. There's something about this earthquake in Italy. I, uh, how long have I been saying this? Since April. I've been talking about these types of prophetic things. There's something about those ants trying to invade my house. That's abnormal. We've lived here seven years. There, there's going to be something to, uh, to about tomorrow, 2-9, because it's an 11. And I've been talking about 11, 11, and 1, 1, 1. For since last year, I mean, I made a video you guys have never seen called "False Signs and Lying Wonders 1111." This is not something new to me. Well, tomorrow is 829. 29 is what 11. So today you saw the warning, right? And then God even gave you a sign, and He showed me a supernatural sky, and He showed me a sign of what it'll look like when the seal gets opened up. An invasion. An invasion into your ministry, an invasion, and that you got to stand against that. You got to have power. Where are you going to get the power from Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost? It's coming. So, tomorrow, I'm just prophesying something is going to happen tomorrow that we can pray against through the power of God. We can submit ourselves to God, we can humble ourselves and pray. But tomorrow, 2 9 being 11. Uh, what I mean by 11 is 2 plus 9 equals 11. It's, there's certain days that God has had me focus on where I've put out extremely urgent alerts. Tomorrow's one of them, which is tomorrow to me is literally, it's already tomorrow over there in it, uh, Italy. But right now, uh, it's uh, six and a half hours from now for 24 hour period. We need to be in extreme intercession, especially for two things the lost. And the leaders in the body of Christ who are to reach the lost. I'm not going to add to it or take away from that. I'm going to upload this and put the scripture to Romans 13. Because see, when I speak under the anointing like this for 20 minutes, I don't remember everything I said. I have to go back and rewatch it for myself after I upload it. I upload it by faith, believing that the, the, the Lord has spoken through me as an obedient servant. I, I bless you in the name of the Lord that he have mercy upon us tomorrow. There's another sign. In Jesus' name, amen.